Hello everybody, this is your Niles Geek and we're having another tag video today. This time we have the horror booktube tag by Alex from Hail Little Thrifter and she has a great channel about horror related stuff. If you're in the horror, uh, check her out. I'll leave a link to the original tag below if you're interested in doing it. And without further ado, let's go straight to the questions. <laughs> Question number one, how and when did you get into horror? Uh, that's tricky because uh, when I was a kid I, I used to dislike the idea of horror. I was reading the um, three investigator books where, which were uh, mysteries, where there were children solving mysteries. There was some horror elements in there or at least some horror trappings like the headless horseman and the headless horse and uh, the eye of the tiger and this kind of stuff. Um, I started getting more into horror watching the X-Files when I was 13. X-Files were all the raids back then in the 90s. If you're too young to remember the X-Files, it was an amazing TV show that was science fiction and horror themed. And I remember watching um, Tombs and was like, oh, that's cool. And the, I think Tombs got me the horror. Ah! Question number two. What was the first horror book you, that you read? Uh, that's tricky. I think the first horror book I've, I've read was uh, an H.P. Lovecraft collection. It was a pulpy book. I uh, bought it off a uh, news kiosk and it had some, some of his collaborations. Not his original stories, his collaborations like uh, Medusa's Coil, which is one of my favorite uh, scary stories ever. I mean, I remember throwing the book at the end and I didn't uh, read the rest for two or three days after that. Give, give me scare. The Mound. Uh, I cannot recall which else. There were some Darth stories too and they were not that good. The Winged Death was another one of the Lovecraft collaborations. And The Horror in the Museum. Actually, I have a book collecting all of the collaborations and there's some of them I haven't read yet, so uh, I'll get to it eventually. Question number three. What horror-related goodness can we expect from your channel? Okay, uh, you should expect horror book reviews and horror movie reviews talks about the tropes of horror, how to write horror, all this kind of stuff. Initially, I started this channel as a horror-themed channel back in... But I was like, um, you know what, I'm writing a sci-fi novel, so um, let's just go for more generic geek stuff. Question number four. Do you have any fa favorite themes or some genres with ho within horror? I love Splatterpunk, gruesome violence with... Um, contemporary themes and maybe some more serious th themes thrown in. I like cosmic horror a lot. I have a soft spot for ancient dark gods and how humans are ants in front of them. Lovecraftian themes, but not Lovecraftian in the way of tentacles. More Lovecraftian in a cosmic sense. And I have a soft spot for adventures, for dark adventure stories, which they're not exactly horror, but there are some gruesome stuff with action. That's what I like in that, were, that are my favorite themes and some genres and tropes. Five, name an underrated horror novel or author. I believe that um, Peter Straub is not getting enough attention. Uh, I really like his style. His uh, more literary version of Stephen King goes into very weird uh, territories. He had some amazing books. He's not that... Um, well known at this point. I think he's been... Uh, he has a very weird niche to be in and I think that many people don't exactly think uh, Peter Straub when they think of horror. However, he's, uh, I like his style. It's not an easy read. It's much more heavy and literary. I remember that the last book of his I read, A Dark Matter, I loved it. And uh, I said, oh, it's an amazing book, go get it to lots of people and they all hated me because they hated it. But whatever. Name an overrated horror novel or author. Question number six. Uh, Dean Koontz. For me, Dean Koontz is the author I don't quite uh, love to read. I touched upon this on my video about his Eyes of Darkness. I've read uh, six books of his and it was half and half. And the good half was entertaining. The bad half was 
bad. You won't believe how bad it was. I don't like his tropes. Seven, recommend three of your favorite horror novels. Oh, that's a tough one. The Girl Next Door by Jack Ketchum is definitely a recommend for me. It's a very extreme book. I'll caution everybody reading it that this book will fuck you up. Uh, no sugar coating. Uh, this book fucked me up back in uh, five. I read it. It's a gut punch. It's uh, based on a true crime story. There are no supernatural elements. This book just changed how I view horror and how I view life in a way. So uh, that's definitely recommend if you can take it. Hellraiser or Hellbound Heart by Clive Barker is a second recommend. Uh, for me, it's a modern horror masterpiece. It manages to be to tie uh, violence uh, and splatter with the gothic horror. And Clive Barker back in the 80s was at his peak. This novel is just amazing. And the third book, I'll probably go with Richard Matheson and I'm Legend, which is the archetypical survivor horror book. Uh, it has this amazing struggle of a lone survivor in a world full of vampires that are more similar to zombies. The ending is just uh, mind-blowing. If you have watched the movies, the movie, I'm Legend, uh, and you say, I don't like this movie, there's no way in hell you will love this movie. This movie just destroyed everything great about the book. Just go read the book. The book is awesome. Question number eight. Recommend a book for someone who is new to the horror genre. Tough one. Because I cannot think... Uh, where they're coming from. It depends on uh, where they're coming from. Um, if I want to recommend one safe book uh, for someone new the horror genre, I'd go for Stephen King because Stephen King is just the gateway to horror for many people or somebody you'll eventually read. So if you want to start reading horror, start with King. Uh, read Pet Cemetery if you can take it. Yeah, read Pet Cemetery. Or, uh, I don't know, um, Curry. Curry or Pet Cemetery are great starting books. Nine. Are there any book to film adaptions that you particularly loved or hated? I hated the I Am Legend adaption because it destroyed everything about the book. I was already telling you that. An adaption I love and I've also read the book. It was uh, Hellraiser. Uh, it was done by Clef Buck himself and... Uh, it's interesting how they both capture the essence of the story. However, there are some differences that show you that, yes, in order to make a good movie out of a good book, sometimes you have to change. Number 10. How do you discover a new or new to you horror books? I do a lot of thrift, thrift shopping, or I used to do a lot of thrift shopping before I was, uh, you know, staying at home like I am at the moment. And I used to just find some books that I found interesting and get. I have found some gems nobody knows. I do a lot of uh, go to Facebook groups that are dedicated to horror and I also read recommendations there. I have friends who recommend books to me. I see some booktube videos about interesting books. Yeah, that's how I get it. It's mostly word of mouth and happening about them. What was the last horror book that you bought? Uh, the last horror book I bought was The Shrine by James Herbert. I found this in a thrift shop and I got it. And I have also bought two uh, graphic novels of uh, the Italian horror comic book Dylan Dog that I don't think they have been uh, translated in English yet, uh, so I won't mention them. And I'm not sure the graphic novels do count. I don't have a wish list at the moment. I've got plenty of books, as you can see, and I don't plan to buy any new ones. So I don't have any horror book in my wish list. Unless, of course, it's Dylan Dog graphic novels. These ones I want, but I cannot find them easily. So I, I probably Mother Della Rosa. I won't tag any people because I think that the people I'm about to tag have earned the tags already. But if you want to do this tag, go along. It's not mine, so you can do whatever you want. Um, hope you had some dark and scary fun. And thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.